Good morning and whatever today is, I believe it's uh, 24, August 24, and this is a wild game. The really, there's no way to do it. Basically, I had a string of losses, but, but, and I just don't care anymore. I, I totally stopped caring about this. So devil may care. So this is one of the game that's totally off the wall. Although I did manage to win at the end. That's an unusual move over here. Because, you know, usually you don't do this kind of thing. Usually you would try to do here. Over there. So, mm, whatever. And of course, en passant, or en passant, or however does she say it. And that's a problem because, yes, uh, the bishop can just take this thing over here, no problem. Uh, and another one, uh -huh. okay, sure, uh -huh. what, what do you know, like uh, they got a crisscross over here, uh, excuse me, crisscross over here. And I'm surprised that's not mid. Next move. And what do you know? Uh, it probably shouldn't have done that. But I guess there's no reason, you know, not to attack. And yes, that's a mistake because the pawn, as you can tell from the computer, can just attack this thing and then I will lose. So, so I should have taken the pawn with the rook. Next move. And this would be a very strong move, but well, like I said, it's wild morning, so I've been making blunders left and right, so what can I say? Now, this is a nice blunder over here because, as you can see, the knight is not protected whatsoever. Instinctively, he knows that the knight needs to move, but it's not protected whatsoever, and there is, of course, the queen that handles that. So, hey, free knight, what do you know? So you can tell over here, the rooks are not linked. There is a king in the middle, so they select individual rooks over here. That's a weakness. Uh, and I'm taking advantage of that because I want to get uh, the rook, free rook, hopefully. And that's pretty protected by the queen. So what I need to do is I need to kick the queen away. I'm thinking maybe go for here and that will attack the queen. Except I wasn't being given a chance to do so. Right away it's checked. And this is very interesting. It's been a crazy morning, you know, losing all the time and like, I just don't care anymore. Let's just take it. Boom. Boom. That's a mistake, by the way, as the arrow indicates. If the rook goes here, check, the net will be lost. So, yes. so of course there's that one, but then there's that one too. So, it, it will be bad for me. Fortunately, he makes a blunder. Now, the queen basically needs to stay on this diagonal to protect the rook. But of course, the queen cannot go there diagonal because I can just take it. So this is what I did. Boom. And suddenly that's it. Queen's gone. Over there. Check. And I cannot take this rook over there. So what can I say? I cannot take this rook. But I can 
posted little queens here and suddenly I'm up two nights the number of pawns here are basically equal so I'm basically up two nights and that's very devastating force I don't know how to do the math two nights then go basically and I kept trying to figure out how, you know how to do the nights but I could should have done this like this like that and check so I should have done that but what can I say uh, I wasn't doing a good morning then check just making an annoying move basically and this is to check the pawn over there so two pawns against one pawn over there earlier in the day in the morning I lost because I didn't secure the square so yeah I learned my lesson I'll secure the square and I don't know why he did that maybe he's thinking about taking this one over here and that one but I'm still gonna win anyway rook versus lone king I will win and that's it and he pretty much reason after this one because I just have way overwhelming uh, force to do that. and that's the game wild and crazy morning thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow